Yes, my people. Greetings. Greetings and manners. How about this now? Yes, my people. What a go on. What a go on. What a go on. What a go on. Yes, I'm here to do a little video here still. Big up all of my subscribers, them. Just the same. Manners and respect. But, yes, on the past two days, experience. I have to share this video with my people or these things that is taking place. Big up everybody. I won't call on a name personal, but on a known self, big up everyone. Yeah? And before I go any further, based on the video that I did about the, um, it was, I think, it was the second to last video. I said men need to um, treat women with more respect, something, something of that nature. I just want to say to everybody that um, I read all the comments them and I've not found any negativity in none of the comments them because at the end of the day everybody is entitled to them opinion and as I said, I, I wouldn't say I find no negative comments. Everybody just sharing their views based on the topic. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. And big up and respect to everybody who participate as well. Yeah. But what I talk about now, people, what I talk about now is a lot of Jamaicans in foreign countries, they could be doing much better than how they are doing they could be and i'm gonna give you my reasons why in every sector or every department of work trade wise and everything whether it's carpentry plumbing woodwork you name it there is a jamaican or there are jamaicans that are doing those type of jobs and some of them are very good at what they do as well but in spite of them good at what they do them have a thing with them where I mash them up and the thing where they have with them it's called bad mind syndrome and radii syndrome yeah that's what's affecting a lot of them when I say that, I mean that even though they're good at what they do, if you even call them, you have a job, say for example, you want um, one wall for painting in your house, and you link up and one of them come. If the wall even should have cost about £50, word speaking, from the moment they come at your place, then start eyes up your place. And they might look and see one, one car or one, two nice car park in your yard or in front of your gate. That is how they might cancel if you charge you for, work, for the work when they might do not. They might not charge you the 60 pound or the 50 pound because that's what it's worth. They might charge you because you look like you are the well. And you can't afford the pay. So instead of them charge you 60 pounds for the job, they must say, well, boss, you know, say, re, re, blah, blah. And they must give one amount, a long list or something. And the 60 pounds gone up to sometime 120 pounds or 150 pounds. A sudden flex. That is how them flex. And them not realize that by doing that, they must shorten themselves and I put themselves out of money because once people brand you as being like not honest and rare, you're not going to get no work from nobody. Nobody's not going to want to employ you because everybody has to look for something reasonable and I look for their money's worth. Yeah. But you see the bad mind syndrome and the red eye syndrome, when it kick in upon them, 
That's when they start lose. Cause them I watch where you have, and I watch for your money, and I watch for them money. And if them be there, just be honest and do a good job, them would end up get more work. Cause people would have recommend people to them. Cause people always want people to do something. And people would have recommend, but because of that, them now it's like. Them have a tendency like them just want to go up on one job and get rich off of the one job. And that's it. They don't care about the rest of the times to come. And uh, think about that. All time people have a saying for say, I know one time monkey go on wife. Yeah. Something like so. I know one time monkey go on wife. Something like that. That means say, it better you take your time and eat little, little. More than them off everything in a one go. And you never have everything on your belly full. And when you start get hungry again, not no definitely. It better you have something to eat and eat a little bit. Satisfy your belly and left some. So when hungry kick in again, at least you have some more to eat till something come in again. Them nothing, them the kind of way. They. And that I will mash up enough for them. I know some people will come say, but I don't talk everything I don't wanna talk bad about Jamaican. Nobody not talk bad about Jamaican. We are talking about the bad Jamaican them. Don't get it twisted. We're not talking bad about Jamaicans. We are talking about the bad Jamaicans. See if you can figure it out. I'm repeat again. We are not saying nothing bad about Jamaicans. We are talking about the bad Jamaicans. We're not supposed to get it now. We're not get it now. We'll get it again. Yeah? That is all. Them flex. In a foreign country. And the worst part of it, you know, you know yet. This is the part now where. Me I tell you, sir. At the part, yeah. And you know the worst one of all. Out of all of them. You know who? The worst, the worst set of nigga them out of the world them. You see the people them who run the so-called food shop them where they never sell to them sell Caribbean food. Jesus boy. They don't know nothing. Name what is it name? Um customer service. They don't, they don't know how fit may I tell you Rasta? They don't know how to talk to people. Well, they know if you talk to people, certain people, yeah? But they have a thing called equality and diversity. Some people don't really know what it means because some people think that when you talk about equality, it means you treat everybody the same. No, it's, that's not how it goes. Equality and diversity mean you treat people as accordingly. That's why when you go to certain workplaces, you see them have like wheelchair access. That means say, they're making provision for people who cannot walk or people who are disabled and people in wheelchair. There's access for them to go everywhere in the building as well. That's why they have disabled toilets. The people who are disabled have certain facilities in them toilet and thing where them can use where normal people are just going around tight and us. You understand me, I said, though? But these people don't know nothing about nothing. Them don't know nothing. No, Mr. Bedrid, I tell them to say, no. When you, I don't know if anybody explained, but when, when you go in at the Caribbean chat, them, you know, the way they talk to you sometimes, like, when you never bother people, always come back, come bother them. And when they see you come, they feel like say, you come bother them too. And they might throw down your stress and bird, but all them talk to you some of the time, you know. If you go in a shop, me, go in a shop and I ask for something and to not have a screen protector or something or be sick of the sitting while go on. Sometimes maybe somebody don't hear what you say properly. But my God, if somebody says something you know, you then say answer them politely, said we you know, you know I'm gonna know like where you know what I mean? But as you go in and you say, oh, you have any way, 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 and probably not you're good. What you say? Talk up, man. Talk up. Talk up, man. I can't mean, hear what you say. We never time, you know. We never time, because we have something to do on the back, you know. And all them kind of weird there. I saw them deal with you, you know. And when you see it, never say it. If you see an English person or a white person going to see them shepherd your ear, you know, and say something to them, what they not hear, them tone and them action different. Excuse me? Could you repeat what you said? 
um, and them I talk to them people in nice and decent and proper. Yeah. And and if you go in there and ask them, South Jamaican, say, what do you have on the menu today? Then first thing they say, you can't see, you can't read. See the menu up there. Look on the menu. You don't see the menu. I got the menu. I got me have. And I said, they want to talk to you. Some of them people, I mean, I said, well, I wonder if them people feel like they're still on a Spanish town road, man. Or them feel like they're in a coronation market, then they are. I don't know. What them feel like they're in the but I don't think they realize eh, then they're in a foreign country you now. But you have to learn to adjust and you have to learn to adapt. Yeah? Regardless of who the person is where you deal with. Yeah? Me experience it. Jano, you see them go out in the street, you know. And um, it's so happened that's me that I run up on them earlier and I never get to eat no food. But I say, you know, let me go drink a cup of soup in one of them places that's still. Because I mean, I really call them places for purpose tell them on the truth, you know, as well. You know, but just to me say, I never eat for a morning and the best thing for do you know if I eat something, eat something hot. So I say, I get a cup of soup. And boy. When when we go into the shop, you know, and we ask the lady say if she have any soup. Simple me say, have you got any soup? What? We well, say, talk up, man, talk up. And so she have got me say, you have any soup? She said, then you see if you say, think me have do. And I said, what are you? Woman, me chub you for here. I went at the last time me chub you. And she said, what you say, what you say? But two me did us can't bother with the confidential. I said, I don't say nothing, man. I just say, if you have soup, I don't want one still, you know? That's all. And then she has said, what kind of soup you want? What kind of soup? What size? What, me say, what you have? What, kind, what, what size you have? And the aggressive mood where she in her, and her talk, and her talk, I said, Jesus. And I saw her face look, and see two white men coming at the place, and I buy and I asked her a whole heap of question. And she was so nice and so polite to them. And talked to them nice. And talked to them good. And I said, eh, eh, look there. Eh. Just look at that. Look at that. But as for me, I tell myself, say, they would have never see me in another shop there again. And that's how now them come about to say, Jamaicans, not support them one another in a foreign. It's not that Jamaica don't support them one another in a foreign. Yeah? But Jamaican get treated differently as well by them one Jamaican in a foreign. So what you gonna do? You gotta support somebody who treat you bad or you gotta support somebody who treat you good. You have a choice. Which one you do? Yeah? Most likely the people who treat you good and them your support. And they realize, say, them attitude and them behavior, instead of putting them forward and lifting them up, it put them back and bring them down. And then they realize, say, and them attitude and to them deal make things that go the way or it go. They don't have no behavior, they don't have no brought up, see. They don't have no manners, no discipline, they don't have nothing. They don't take everybody as being the same. Once you're black, you is a black tan bad somebody. Are you a black troublemaker? Are you a black good for nothing somebody? Are you a black beggar? Are you something? I don't know what them thing. And, 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 you see what now? Make somebody go work in one shop. About three or four or five building from them and start deal with people and deal with people on a different level the way your people should have deal with or you treat people when people are spending money with you and when you say everybody left and start going to that shop and I support them the people there because they treat me and when the food not good people will go there go buy said yeah because of the treatment and how people deal with you. You hear what them are going to start saying now? A bad mind, them bad mind. Make them have to come and say, come open my shop. They never see the shop there so already. And they go on and go on and go on till when time for them shop start get empty. And then start cook them food and then sell. And them have to start 
give it and dash way and do all kind of something now. You know them favorite word where them are going to use? A obia people, obia them. Yep. A that them are going to say. A obia people, obia them. And not realizing, say, nobody know obia them. A them obia themselves. What me say them do? A them obia themselves. All because of them ways, them attitude, and the bad syndrome. When they have inner them. Yeah? Me I tell you. I don't know if. Some of them, me I wonder if I feel so them feel so to them around the food shop. Them feel like say. Them reach each part, them I go. And then they pant up of the world and all kind of something. And trust me. Me I tell the people. If some of the food then it tastes good too. It would have bad. I know so bad. Yeah. Me said it. If some of the food then it tastes good. You have some of them where the food then tastes good, I mean, I lie. But the food tastes good, but the attitude bad. You understand what I said though? You find say, the one where them food not taste too good more than so, sometimes for the attitude good. You understand? Cause I saw the thing set. Yo, you have one Jamaican youth, you know. I want shop in our one place, you know. And every time me and Miss V, if we go shopping and we go to that area. If I miss V say she go to that area, go shopping, me hungry. Me, me all I said sometimes I say, me not eating a breakfast, cause as long as that youth shop open, me I go there. Because that youth, that youth is so polite, so manageable. The man does deal with you like me you know. And, 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 and you know the worst the best thing about you as well, the man food tastes good. But it's when you go in your shop, when you go in your shop, the way the man talk to you, man, alone, make you don't want to eat everything we're in there. To him talk to you, nice, polite, like a proper gentleman, and talk to you like, oh, no, no, rush thing, I no, no, eager, eager, no, cuss, cuss thing, I no. You know what kind of way there? Nothing like that. Nothing like that. That's it. That is a shop I would recommend anybody to. That's the one shop for me to see as food shop. You know, the whole entire area where we know. But I would recommend even people from out of port that come in and want some food feed at this of me and send them. Yeah, because the treatment, the everything is just right. And for some reason, fee price but in something different to car when we go to me Miss V and we buy food and we sit down and we eat an amount of food. And sometimes when we do it, we say, how much? Everything come to big man. And the price when you give sometimes me if you look on the good, I say that right. I must say, yeah man, I might expect to say that's and that for that and that for that and that for that. I may I say Bridget, I don't say it's expensive, you know, I just a bit shocked and amazed. Guy price when I give it for everything. I say, wow. Trust me. And that guy been running that place for long. That means that him now lose the money. As a matter of fact. The last time we see him, he said people offer him money to buy out the place for him. Because he might do so well that people out there ready to see it and want to buy him out. I said to him, say, you see if I did me? If it was me, I would have given him a price that I feel comfortable with. And in the meantime, I look for one place nearby in the same community. To get, get a place. And take their money. Yeah? Take their money and move my business and go to the next place. Yeah, that what I do. Get a bigger place. Take a good amount of money when I know I can cover certain things. And when I feel comfortable with and just move go not too far from this. And show them, say. And also the thing go, cause you me show some people them where I come at me, and when I move go, they more come the said way, cause I miss him one. They must feel a spot where it there, why the people them are come and I support. I know the spot. I know the spot. But is the way how the man deal with people, why people come there. So if he even move, if if the man even moving shop go from Blue Mountain Peak, up on the top of Kilimanjaro Mountain, up on Mount Everest. 
him moving food shop go. Yeah? At the same way people are going to go up there at Fiend Shop. Because I took all the youth flex. Yes. But as I say, people, some of our people them in a foreign could be much better rough than how them is. But it's the way how them flex. Them have this ready eye syndrome and this bad mind syndrome and this me no care attitude and this me talk to people anyway and me still in the ghetto and me still in the back of wall system and me still turn bad. Yeah. And no get it twisted. Some people say, well, I talk bad about Jamaican and the... nobody not have to talk nothing bad about Jamaican, you know. Nobody no have to talk nothing bad about Jamaican because when you look on your TV and you go up on YouTube, you see everything bad about Jamaica. As I say, we're not talking nothing bad about Jamaicans, we are talking about the bad Jamaican them. And I know everybody bad. You know, they are good people. A lot. Majority of Jamaican people them are good people. Majority of them are good people. But they want them with tan bad and dirty and mud up, mud up. Boy, me I tell you. That's why I say, me, me, I me thank God to make you cook, you know. Because I don't rate none of them out there where I cook you and cook like me. I know that you have fuck. enough time when I make all party and them something, the birthday party and whatever. And me cook. And a lot of people come a party for the food. Yeah. When me have party, barbecue, people come for the food. Why people come? The food. I'm saying barbecue, everybody, have, yeah, the food. You understand? And I me cook. Because my granny grew me good in terms of food. I'm used to all different sorts of food. Yeah. But them ways and their attitude is stink and rotten, man. And dirty man. They need to change them ways. They need to change them ways or else. They all get left. They don't see what I go on in the world, I know. They don't see what I go on in the world. Well, everything we go on in the world now is to get rid of the small people, let me know. All of the small business people, that's the main objective, you know, to get rid of them. That I go on, you know. You know, see, I'm at a place where lockdown is not for them people who can revive and survive and come back. No time at all. So, all who are around them, like a food shop and something, and I go on, like, say, then they pop up at the rural and then this and then that and that. Something will come. I don't wish it, but something will come because, especially in them a place here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, no go long, man. We don't know how to go on with But people, me just say, I just share this with you, them. And as I say, I don't really, I don't talk nothing bad about Jamaican as well. Because you know, people jump in the comment box, blah, blah, blah. you don't talk bad about Jamaican. Blah, blah, blah. But I don't have to explain myself to nobody. As I say, I'm not talking bad about Jamaican. Yeah? Me I talk about the bad Jamaican, them. Yeah? Them. My people, let me understand me answer still. But the experience, I don't know if nobody ever experienced, you know, one of them food shop there yet. How them deal with people. Me hear people talk about them all the while still. And it's true. But the way they go on is bad. When I say bad, I mean bad. And you hear me people, I don't want to keep up too much on the time, but I want to know, because it look like Miss V must be ready for go her belly now. So, I cut it short. I'm going over 20 odd minutes. I don't want to have a video half an hour long and boring. Like what? Oh, I don't know if we think that, yeah? So, we're going to leave it this one, right? My people. But you don't know the usual procedures still. As me say, job bless. Don't stress over no farmer pests. I remember, I know one love, enough love. Anything we do, we could do it good. To the best of our ability. I remember this. We have to wise up, to rise up. And also, we have to educate, to elevate. And people, remember, I read all the comments them as well. You know me, I always leave a little art thing, yeah? Unless somebody says something directly out of the way, where not even pertaining 
because there are people who do that. So things that you put into your video. You want to listen to the video or then just look on the title and just put a comment. You know what I mean? But when, when we do a video and people leave them comment based on the video, all is accepted, all is appreciated. I mean, I don't disregard none. I mean, I don't look on it as neg negative. I mean, I don't negative people on my channel. I pay positive people, I big people thing with them. When I'm a subscriber, I say, yeah, a decent CBD will over here. Yeah. So my people, big up on yourself and go and look after yourself and stay safe. Yeah? Manners and respect. I'm out. Without a doubt.